Here is my first look at Ubuntu Unity in years. I think 2017 is what they said the last time that it was developed. Well, um, according to the UbuntuUnity.org website, it is a flavor of Ubuntu featuring the Unity 7 desktop environment, the default desktop environment used by Ubuntu from 2010 to 2017. I can't believe it was from 2010. It was that long ago. It is actively developed and maintained with the releases of Unity 7 every year. So this is version 24.04 LTS. I'll log in. And my desktop scaling is going to go all crazy. There it goes. It's back now. So I haven't used this in so long, but I did use Unity when it was when it came out. And I remember being just completely weirded out by how Windows you know, dock over to the, the button and I don't know, just, you'll see. So I can click here, like the little Unity launcher, if you will. And it's got different sections. It's got applications, folders, videos, music, photos. Okay, let's go to so open up solitaire. Everything is really quick. This is, uh, let's see if we can find out what kind of system resources we're using. Oops, I just launched. Wow, that launched just really quick. It's on a system with four gigs of RAM and it's running pretty well. So like right here, you don't see like any, you know, close button, but kind of like Mac OS, if you're, if you're an Apple user at all, you get like the menu bar that integrates up at the top here and it becomes that application's menu. So if I click exit LibreOffice, it's closed. But this window that, until I maximize it, now you can see that the menu is part of the top here and I can close it. But when the menu, when the window is not maximized, let's do this again. We'll drag it down to, can we undock this window or make it not? There we go. There's the maximize button or the, uh, it kind of undocks itself and then you can free grab the window to where you want it to go. So it kind of takes a little bit of getting used to, but it's, it's efficient. It's, it's, it's nice in a way. It kind of keeps me in the window and keeps me working on something. I feel like well, with less distraction. So let's go see if we can find some uh, software. Go to applications. No, I guess, let's see. You can tell I'm honestly first time using this in a, in a while. It's been a while. Is there an app store front end? I don't know. Maybe I just sudo apt get and install. Sudo apt, sudo apt install. And that's how you do it. Uh, I don't have a floppy disk as far as I know. Let's unlock that from the launcher. <laughs> Let's just hit the super key and type in software. There we go. Synaptic Package Manager, the, the old fashioned way. I used to love using this for everything. You can find tens of thousands of packages and just search for them manually right here. Let's look up, uh, do we have a browser here? Firefox, we do have Firefox. Let's look up, let's install the Brave browser. Let's use Firefox to get the Brave browser. I like Brave. I, I just feel like it, it's really quick. It's a fast browser. So, okay, download Brave. All right, so we don't even need some Synaptic anymore. We're going to go to the terminal And can you dock the window? Yes, you can. That is so cool. Well, I drag it. Let's see. Am I doing it right? It acts like it's going to work, but I'm having trouble getting it working. There it goes. Okay. Now let's do sudo apt get curl or sudo apt install curl. You can tell I'm old because I use the apt get before they change it to sudo apt. See how fast it installs the Brave browser. 
if I copy these lines, this is the best way to install Brave that I found. I mean, it just from their website, you know, <laughs> following their directions. All right, here we go. Pretty fast on a four gig machine. All right, so the install is complete. Let's close the terminal. And let's close Firefox because we don't need that anymore. And if we go look under applications here, do we see anything? So I just got to get in the habit, I guess, of clicking or just hitting the super key and typing in Brave, like finding it and then pinning it to the dock. So can I just drag it? Huh, I guess not. If I right click on it and I go to locked launcher, I assume that'll work. Okay, so let's close it now and just make sure. Yep, there it is. It's locked. It takes a little bit of getting used to. I don't know. Did it, is it going to ask me every time to set it as the default? Oof. I don't know. If, if so, that's annoying. Let's close it now and relaunch it. Okay, that uh, worked that time. So let's see, can we tile the window? I feel like that's kind of glitchy, I don't know. Interesting. So Unity 7 has elements, according to their website, such as the heads-up display and the global menu helping with your productivity. That's what we've been using here is this global menu, I believe, by just you know hitting the window key and typing. It has a modern-looking user interface, but with elegant, traditional workflow. Now, what I find interesting, and I would like to try this someday, is is uh, on a tablet. I want to see the Unity, the mobile version of their desktop. I think it's Unity 8. I want to see what that looks like on a tablet, because I think that could be really useful with having, you know, big buttons and just, it, like, this, even, even Unity 7 would be great on a tablet. This looks kind of cool. I could see that working very efficiently on a tablet and just toggling between windows uh, very quickly. Kind of like how GNOME is nowadays, but Unity would, would seem suitable to me on a tablet. So really not a lot to go over here. This is just really quick and simple, and the settings menu is really easy. I, I like it. So overall, good impression.